It's a shade after eight. Surf church Sunday evening. I'm headed to the land of Nala. I need to give you an update, sorta. Of. I don't remember when the last video was. I've been backed up doing this and that. I think we hunted uh, Saturday morning. No, that's right. I had a knife gig. We hunted Saturday evening. Yesterday evening. No video. When I got home, I tried to do a webcam like I've done in the past, and it says uh, I'm not authorized to do webcams or some crap like that from Adobe Flash, so I couldn't do any webcams. Last night, I found a fit all butterfly ring. And of all things, a 1949 silver quarter. That was the best of it for me. Now my buddy Denny, with his hot CTX, he smoked out a nice 14K CTR ring. Uh, we find a fair amount of those, you know, during the years gone by. CTR is uh, come to the right or something like that with the Latter-day Saints. Very popular ring on young young ladies. It, it, it means something to them then when they go from one sta one stage to another I don't know somebody explained it to me one time but not being a latter latter day saint kind of person I didn't uh, absorb it all but anyway Danny had a pretty good day a uh, good good evening last night so we sailed back down there this morning to crack of dawn to picked up low tide Tim um, it was bleak for us but some of the guys did relatively good I think Timmy had the best of it. He had a really killer three pill nitro 925. And he had the biggest ice I ever seen in it. Looked beautiful. Especially in the sand when he first dug it up. But it was a 925 with a CZ that stamped inside. The unknown man, I think he got a nice little gold ring. Somebody said our buddy Dick got a little gold ring. And you remember the guy we met? The first week down here with our CTXs, the we didn't know his name. He had a CTX and a little teeny trowel. When we met him last night, his name is Doug, or Douglas, I should say. He's from the Northern Neck, a uh, little town up in the northern part of where we're from called Reedville. Now, I, if you know, you don't know much about Reedville, but if you if you Google Reedville and read the history of it, it's one of the coolest little towns in Virginia. I mean, at one time it had more money per capita from the fishing industry in any town in a long time. But it's, it dated way back when, you know what I mean? It's a, still a cool little town though, I can tell you. I, I didn't live, but one time I lived within, I don't know, 40 miles of it in 86 and 87, I think, when I moved away when I was doing something else. One of my nine occupations. Anyway, I don't know what he had last night. We didn't talk fine, but we talked and we got to meet each other. Well, I ran into somebody said, yeah, you know that guy, Douglas with the CTX? This is this morning now. I said, yeah, I know him. Man, he got four rings that last this morning. Four rings. I said, damn, any gold ones? Yeah, I think one was gold. So he had a good night with his CTX in the land of Nada. I don't know. Anyway, we're going down there. Just be, I, nobody wanted to go tonight, so I figured I'd give it a spin for a little while anyway. We have to see how it goes. Stand by because we, we won't have too much light later. We've had terrible weather as you can see. Clouds everywhere. It's misty rain on and off today. Uh, it missed it on us a couple times this morning. Uh, but nothing, uh, you know, not, not enough to get us wet at all. I used my, uh, I got a video from this morning. I just haven't posted it up. I'll do this one the first and so you'll get an idea of where we are. But I can't get that webcam thing to work. Stand by. We'll see you later. Ships. You can see they're anchored for flood tide, incoming tide. Because it's not low tide till around 11 something. And it's only a shade after 8. If I'm going to get to the beach, it'll be just about right. Now, in the, in the video I did this morning, or yesterday morning, I don't remember. Hell, I was. I got so many things going on, I can't remember. Anyway, I got some headphones from Beach Nut Joe. Uh, he made them for the CTX. They're, uh, I don't know what you call them. He probably has a name for them, but I don't know what it is. They're 
molded plastic. If you know the ones Mal makes in the UK, Mal, he calls them surf phones. They look just like them. I think they're the exact same shells. I don't know what the inner part of Joe's are, nor do I know what the inner part of Mal's are. But I know they're the same frame, the same shells, you know what I mean? They look alike and they're the exact same thing. Each ear muff, I mean, each ear is marked left and right. So you have to wear them on your left and you have to wear them on your right so they fit on your head correctly. Well, I used them last night and I liked them. I mean, they, they, they were loud. I mean, I had to turn the volume down to 12, I think. I don't remember the exact number, but anyway, I took them off last night and gave them to Denny so he could use them today. I used my uh, my uh, Excal today, and Denny didn't like it. We said the sounds are scratchy and muffled and all that, but I don't know. He was hunting in uh, f uh, 50 tones, and then I said, well, switch over to combined tones because that's where I was. I like them in combined, but he didn't uh, he didn't like them at all. So I'll get it back from him tomorrow, and I'll try them again tomorrow. I got my uh, Grey Ghost on there tonight with the, with the Wi-Fi thing, the, you know, the modular doodad. Okay, that's all I forgot to tell you about that. Well, I'm home, drinking a glass of milk from the hunt, Sunday night. <coughs> this is Saturday day. This is, no, this is Saturday night. We'll get to that tomorrow. This is Sunday morning. Yet this morning. I don't know where the silver quarter is. It's around here somewhere. Anyway. And tonight, because it was night, I don't have any camera. Spitting back on the beach, I come across this little tiquita. I said, man, this looks like white gold. Look for about an hour and a half. When I got back to my truck, I got some magnifier out, and it's 925. But, there's a but here. I guess the economy is that bad that people can't afford to buy any gold. So they're starting to put real diamonds in silver. That green light come on. Can be that. Real diamonds, even the ones on the side are real. Look at that. Unbelievable. So if you got to find silver rings, I guess that's the kind to find. A three pill nitro with real diamonds. I'll get to all that stuff tomorrow. Denny's gold ring and Timmy's 925 like mine, etc. etc. I saw two big gurus in the lane tonight and missed my buddy Carl. Nobody at that particular time was holding any taquitos. See you tomorrow sometime with some videos.